Omri Glazer is the newest signing for Red Star, a goalkeeper uh, coming in from the Israeli league, um, from Hapoel Beersheba. So uh, Barak Bakar, obviously very familiar with him and his work, um, was named the Israeli goalkeeper of the year in their league. 22 clean sheets in 49 matches, which is a very good mark. Uh, he's still only 27 years old and he signed for three years. So three plus one additional year, 190 centimeters. Uh, so he's kind of taking the reins over for Milan Borjan, who is going on loan to Slovan Bratislava after six seasons with the club. Uh, got some videos and reports that I read on, on Gazer. Uh, very good on penalty kicks, which is something that Milan Borjan was also excellent at. One-on-one uh, -on -one with players like, um, you know, just... just basically one-on-one -on -one with the attacker he's also very good at those he really knows how to kind of like sprawl out and get his uh, arms and um, legs out to try to make the save and being a goalkeeper I know how hard that can be sometimes amateur goalkeeper uh, and distribution I think this is the one that is I don't want to say the biggest kind of trait that he has but Compared to how poor I think Milan Borjan has been with his distribution in the last like year, year and a half, I think this could be the biggest upgrade in terms of him coming in for, for us and being the number one goalkeeper. Because it, it is something that Milan Borjan has struggled with for, like I said, a year, year and a half now. And I thought maybe it's just something about the rest of our system that kind of, kind of throws it out of whack. But he's also had a very tough time with the Canadian national team, which living in Canada I get to watch them a lot as well it's something that he has a lot of trouble with as well I, I mean I don't know what's happened over the last year but it's come to the point where it's where it gets really bad where a lot of the balls end up you know out for a throw in like I just I just don't understand it it's and it's something that was one of his strengths like I would say apart from his like ability to stop like the impossible at times I thought his distribution was one of the better assets or traits that he had in his arsenal and then all of a sudden it just kind of kind of went away and it just became really poor um so i think having glazer who can kind of do that on a regular basis and i think he was one of the best goalkeepers in terms of distribution over like 30 meters in the europa league or um, in the conference league which goes a long way as well um yeah i think this is going to be one of those things that are going to play a huge part uh, for us going forward uh he needs to work on his crosses so like offset pieces he sometimes like mistimes balls he is a little bit slower to react he gets kind of caught in no man's land where he's not he doesn't even punch the ball or grab it or anything like that he'll sometimes send it out for like another corner kick or, or uh or a throw in i think that's something that needs to work on and, and the high balls as well um sometimes gets caught in in the five yard box where he doesn't come and collect the ball there's been a number of goals that i've seen on on uh, various videos where he just doesn't have you have to have command of your five yard box or whatever they call it i mean that's you have to be able to pick up the ball in that area and make sure that the opposition doesn't get a chance to score and with the teams that you're gonna be facing in champions league you're gonna have to be able to do that because you're gonna be facing quality quality sides and you know and any ball that you can and should get to you have to get to so i think that's something that he's gonna have to work on in his uh you know in his time with red star and, and hopefully he kind of corrects that as well but like i said there's gonna be pressure coming in on him because you're now taking over for the guy who is a club legend who spent six years here i think over 300 350 appearances for the club uh, champions league europa league every season um fan favorite so you know you have big boots to fill so to say and um yeah i mean winning the goalkeeper of the year i think it goes a long way in the israeli in the israeli league um i'm hoping hoping for the best like i i haven't seen too much of his highlights and things like that but from what i have seen he is a quality goalkeeper uh like i said he's experienced at 27 the only thing that kind of um not surprises me, but he hasn't really been a number one goalkeeper for very long. Uh, and I think even with, like when Milan Borjan came in, I think it was a little bit of the same story where he wasn't consistently like a number one goalkeeper. So um, 
Borean was a little bit older. I think he was 29, 30 when he came to Red Star. But hopefully, you know, three years by the time he's 30 and hopefully he's still with the club, if he performs well, uh, that's something that he could get, you know, get under his belt and just get better. But um, in terms of like the goalkeepers that we were linked to, I think this is a good choice. We'll, we'll see how well he does. He's out of Israel now. So, you know, it's kind of a new new challenge for him as well. Uh, being out of the country, a little bit of culture shock, but at least he has a manager there who is Israeli, who understands him. So that that's huge for him as well. And he's had a handful of appearances for the Israeli national team. I believe he's the number one goalkeeper now. Um, so he has that experience of playing into, at the international level, which can go a long way as well. Um, you know, when you play for a new club in a new country. So yeah, that's Omri Glazer. Uh, Three-year deal with Red Star, plus an additional year. Uh, 190 centimeters, the new goalkeeper, the new number one going forward. Uh, would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. To any of my Israeli friends who follow Beersheva, would love to know what you guys think as well. So leave it in the comments. You guys probably watch him a lot more than I do. So would love to know some of, kind of like his strengths and weaknesses and what you think of the, about the signing overall. So would love to hear from you guys.